What's up everyone, it's Justin from Mixify again, and this is the second vlog. Um, today I am going to first drop off all these packages here to the post office. Um, they're probably going to hate me today. And then I'm going to also pick up, I ordered a piece of uh, Shell Cordovan uh, on eBay to test out. I've had Horween Shell in the past, but this is the uh, Japanese Shell. And so I'm going to pick that up, um, we can check that out, see how that goes, and then I also have to make a, a couple more things, I think a, a field notes case, and then I think some bracelets and stuff. So uh, let's get this little trip on the road here. Carpenter's Hall, meeting place of the first Continental Congress in 1774. Wow. Some more, uh, dropped off all my packages and post office kind of punked me and said uh, my package was out for delivery so my shell cord of it will hopefully be in my pockets at home in my pockets <laughs> in my mailbox it will be in my pocket eventually so this is Ben Franklin's courtyard is what it's called so Ben Franklin had designed and lived in like three houses around here in this courtyard and this is his passageway where they say he used to walk every day and think about stuff and here is also the uh, first post office I believe I'd be a terrible terrible history guide walk through the passage. Alright, back here in the workshop. Uh, my shell has not arrived yet, so I'm anxiously awaiting the uh, postman to uh, drop that off. In the meantime, I'm going to put together this uh, field notes case that I have an order for my templates. So I will do that and hopefully it arrives soon. done this guy. I can mail this out. Still anxiously awaiting my shell to arrive. Alright, the shell has finally arrived. It's like a giant hoagie. So I'm gonna um, open this guy up and let's see what we got. check this thing out. It is beautiful. Um, it's been a, a long time since I've had any shell. The last time I had some horween shell was a couple of years ago, so you almost forget how, how nice it is. It's unbelievable. The grain is super polished and super tight. And if, if, you're, not for, uh, if you're not familiar with shell cordovan, this is, um, it is from, it's a leather made from a horse butt more or less so it's not even the skin it's it's the, like a muscle tissue that's directly underneath the skin and they you know comes in these two you can kind of see like the shape this one was you know I bought this off eBay so it's been used so you know it's kind of like this the shape of a horse's rump um, it comes in two pieces about well usually they're a little bit over two square feet each and it's super expensive so this was about seventy dollars a square foot it might have been more it's crazy um, but yeah so that's what what this is and this is just 
It's just super nice. I'm trying to get it on the camera here. The shine is just unbelievable. Is the back. So this is from, like I said before, this is Japanese shell. So this is from the the Shinki Haikaku uh, leather tannery. It's the label there. Everyone just calls it Shinki shell. So next to Horween and Clayton shell, which is from the UK, this is probably like the third easiest one to get, or the third most common one. There's a couple other in, in Italy. There's another in uh, Argentina as well. I've never seen that one in real life. I'm gonna try to get some up. See how that goes. Um, yeah, this is really nice. Cut off a little piece, you know. Obviously, I can't use this for anything, so I'm gonna cut this off and then mess with the edge and see how, how it burnishes. The thing whenever you're working with shell is, I remember from last time, because it's so expensive that, you know, you really, <laughs> you really, really have to measure eight times and cut once because you can't really waste any of this stuff. So let's see. You compare the thicknesses here. This is that um, walnut veg. So this is like a four to five ounce that we used in the other video. So this is a little bit thinner. So this might be closer to to a four ounce, like a, a true four ounce, the Japanese shell. The Horween shell I always found was a little bit thicker, closer to this. And this one's pretty thin. Let's get some, um, get some water. So, so Has a similar feel with burnishing than just a regular, as you know, just as a regular veg tan, because it is just a straight veg tan leather. Wow, that burnish is beautiful. <clears throat> it's really nice. It's very firm. Uh, has a really nice hand to it. It's beautiful. It's like a glass finish. It's, it's like emotional experience working with Shell. <laughs> so let me. So I am gonna make um, some stuff with it, just not today. I have to plan that ahead of time. Bring it back up here. Just one last look. If you're interested in trying some of it, you got you have some extra uh, Christmas money left over, and you're interested in trying some out. You can. There's usually people selling it on eBay. Um, I know there's a seller from China that always has it, and it, it depends what. Sometimes the cut you don't you know you don't get a good choice of what colors you get, but um, there's always people selling it on eBay. So you know, use that extra Christmas money and buy yourself a, a shell. It's, it's amazing. All right, so that will uh, conclude the second vlog. Had a whole lot of stuff going on, and uh, finally done. <laughs>